Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're back here with Libby again. Now this is your first time on the channel in probably three, four months? Yeah, like four months. That sure. is a long time. Well anyway, she's back again today. We're pretty good. We're going over to the outlet mall, and today we're doing a challenge where I can't say no to pretty much anything at the mall. So Funko Pops, uh, maybe if you want to go get some food or something, I don't know. It's going to be pretty fun, and I think you're going to have some fun with this one too. Yes, I'm excited. So let's go to Hot Topic, and let's get started. All right, guys, we made it over to Hot Topic, so let's go in and let's say yes. All right, guys, so we're over in the pop section, and Libby, do you see anything yet? Yes. Okay. Okay, so I want you to get this one. Okay, for sure. That's yes. a yes. Sounds good. I mean, I can't say no, so of course it's a yes. But Zeus is a great choice. And this one is sparkly. Okay. So I really like this That is one. a diamond edition one. It's pretty neat. Yep, I do like this one. one. I don't think I have this one either, so that is a great yes. Yes. Yes, okay. <laughs> if you guys are watching, you know what just happened the other day, but yes, I guess we'll have to say yes to this one. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> um, Anything else? We do have two hot cash, so if you want to get four. Okay. But I, I mean, if you want to get more, we have to say yes, so. Right, get this one, but it's the same name as me. Sure, sounds good. I guess that's a yes. <laughs> All right guys, so while Libby is looking around picking out some other figures, I did want to show some of the new ones here. So they have the entire Slayer set, or do they have just two? They have Carrie King as well as Tom Array, uh, I think it is. I don't know. Oh, yeah, they do. They have Jeff Hanneman. Why can't I pronounce these things? Anyways, they have the entire Slayer set here. I think there's only three in the band, so there they are right there. If you guys want to check them out. But yeah, it's a cool set. Um, but I can't get it unless Libby wants me to get it, so that's cool. Um, I also noticed that they have some new ones back here. They've got the Han Solo and Carbonite, which is a great figure. I'm kind of trying to influence her by what I'm saying right now. I hope this helps. Uh, we also have the Winnie the Pooh down here. That is one that I do own already, but it's still a really cool figure. Um, they have Eevee, Squirtle. They also got in this one again, Mitsuki Sage Mode. This one's from Boruto. I did pick this one up, but it is a really great figure. Um, like she had picked out earlier though, Zeus is a brand new pop, so I'm glad that we could get this one today. And it seems like they've gotten more of the Deadpool here, the Diamond Edition one, which I really like. But I do... Actually, I don't know if I do own this one. I might not. I'd have to check the Funko app. I'll let you guys know if I do, but it is a pretty cool figure. I just checked on the Diamond Edition Deadpool and I do not own that one, so that is a pretty cool figure. Uh, but I don't know. I can't pick it up unless Libby wants to. Well, I guess it sounds good. I guess we're getting it. Sounds good. I guess we have grabbed, I think it's five figures now, and it seems like a lot, but it is some pretty good ones. I think you picked out some good ones. Um, but do you think that's it for now? Is that everything for here? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Sounds good. Perfect. All right, guys, so we got our pops over at Hot Topic. I mean, this was a lot of pops, but I mean, I had to say yes. All right, guys, we made it over to the mall now, and we are going into, wait, are they not open? <gasps> are they? No, they're open. Okay, good. You scared me there for a second. Anyways, guys, we're going into EB Games, and Libby's going to pick out, I guess, a bunch of figures. I guess we're over in their section now. They have a lot of really great stuff, actually. I did notice some new stuff. One of them being Edgar Allan Poe, which I do not have for my set yet. Uh, but I did notice over here that they do have some of the Avengers ones. Uh, Saitama is one that is newer. I know Noah watches One Punch Man, but I don't, so I don't know too much about him. But we do have Sasuke versus Naruto. And this one is one that Noah does own, and I think it actually looks really great. Um, just this thing is, we already have it, so why bother picking it up again? Um, I don't know. Some pretty much that seems to be about it for the new stuff. They did get in the Yu-Gi-Oh ones as well as the Inuyash, Inuyasha. I don't know. You guys know what I mean. Is there anything you see though? Oh, I'm... don't. I didn't. You're not allowed to touch in here. Oh, I know. I forgot. <laughs> This one. Phil. Sounds good. All right. What yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, what else? I mean, I did run from the Edgar Allan Poe, but I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to influence you in any way. What do you think about it? Okay. Okay. Oh, all right. All right. Uh, but other than that, guys, I'm seeing like the ones from uh, Cowboy Bebop up there. It's the Battle of the Fallen Angels. That one's on sale for thirty bucks instead of uh, forty. I think it was before. I'm not too sure. Okay, they do have some pretty great stuff. You gotta, you gotta get it? I want you to get this yes. Okay, cool. Great. Perfect. Um, but yeah, guys, other than that, it seems to be about it for all the stuff. I do like the Rick Allen, because he only has one arm um, in real life, so I like that they did that on the pop. I mean, if they added two arms, it would have been weird. Um, yeah, fun just... fact, he is a drummer, too, which is weird. And he has one arm? Yes. Uh, that one's a neat one. And it's on sale for eight ninety nine. Not that I want it today, but it is a cool one. That's yeah, um, they have the new Spongebob set here as well as the uh, Pride Spongebob, which is pretty cool. But other than that, it seems to be about it for the new stuff. All right, guys, so we are back from the store, and we want to show you guys everything that we got today. So you picked out pretty much everything. Um, I mean, I kind of influenced you a little bit. A tad. Yeah, but I mean, Not it was... too much. But most of it was stuff that you yes. said pretty much like, I want to get this, and yes. then I just said yes to it. So I guess we'll just kind of take them out one at a time, and then you can tell us why you decided to pick this one. So let's start with this right here. This is Liz right. from Soul Eater. Um, no idea what Soul Eater... Eater? Soul Eater? Eater? Is it Soul Eater? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yeah. I have no idea what this is, but my real name is Elizabeth, and Liz is like a nickname for it. So sure. I was like, sure, get Same her, name. and she's kind of cute too. Cool. So there we go, guys. I mean, this one, is, and this is what I mean, guys. So she got it just because it was similar names, mm -hmm. and I had to say yes to it. It was really fun, though, um, because I do know um, Noah watches a lot of anime, so maybe he's seen Soul Eater. I'm not too sure, but we'd have to ask him. If he did, that'd be great, because this can go right to him. I mean, unless you want it, because you guys both have the same name. I mean, I don't really know what it is. But... Okay, cool. But it's still a cool pop. I think it looks good. Um, I also like the one from that. It was called Black Star. If you guys want to see the rest of the set, there it is right there, and I did like that one. It looked pretty neat. It has the blue hair there. But yeah, still, a really cool figure. But let's get on to the next one here because we have, okay, this one here. You wanted me to get this one. Yes. I do already have it. It's actually just up there, but this is the Gudetama laying down. Um, this one right here is kind of funny. It's a little different um, compared to the rest of them because it's the, well, no, it's not the only laying down one we got, I guess. Uh, there was two of those ones, but this right here is the Gudetama. You guys can't even see him from the front there. You guys got to turn him this way to see his face. Um, I think it's a pretty cool pop, um, but why did you pick this one? Honestly, just I just saw it. It was kind of cute. Um, I remember you telling me like about them a bit. Not sure what they are right. exactly, but I just thought it was cute. Like, look at him. Well, I had checked the other day, and he's worth about $30 oh. on the pop price cut, so that's not too bad. And Funko App, actually, both of them. So it's not bad that you did pick this one. It is worth something. I don't know if I'm going to be selling it, because I don't sell yeah, too many it figures. Yeah, that you already have it, though. I know. It's still a cool figure, though. But that's what I mean, guys. That's what happens when it's literally you pick them out. You don't yeah. come with me pop hunting very no. often. Um, so something like this will happen. I'm guessing it's going to yeah. happen. I thought it was going to happen during this video. But let's get on to the next one here. This is probably the one that you liked the most. Mm -hmm. It was Ursula right here. And this one is from the Little mermaid I, I picked this one up because first of all she's glittery right the diamond collection that's what yeah that uh, yeah they're the diamond collection ones do all diamond collections are shimmery yeah they're glitter they have glitter all over them they're pretty oh, cool. okay so I thought she was pretty so I was like that one <laughs> <laughs> it's a good pop I do like it and I checked I don't own this one but if you want to keep it you totally can I mean it doesn't really fit in my collection I don't own too many of the little mermaid ones but it's still a really great one this is for their 30th anniversary as well um, but there is Ursula right there I think it's a pretty cool pop I know they've made a couple different versions of this one there is the 10 inch where she's holding her like I guess you I don't know if it's a trident or like a, oh, yeah. a, it's more of like a pitchfork really mm -hmm. than anything um, as well as all of her tentacles kind of like up and it looks like she's kind of moving I think that one's really cool I don't own it but both of them are pretty neat pops. Next up, now this is one that I was actually really grateful that you did pick this one because this is something that just came out and I've been wanting to get this one. Right. It's kind of funny because this one is yes. from Hercules and this is Zeus. Um, it's Zeus with a baby Pegasus cloud. I don't remember what it is in the movie, mm -hmm. um, but it's cool that you did pick this one up because this is a new one. Yes, I kind of just like saw it was Disney, knew what it was. Yeah, sure, get that and one. I did show her the new ones that were coming out too yeah. for the because Hot Topic posts all the new ones, so it was nice we could check them that way. Um, you guys can see there it is still a really really great pop, and this is the first time they've ever done Zeus from Hercules, and it is a Hot Topic exclusive. So I thought this one was a great purchase today. He's uh, really big. Yeah, he's like, huge. He's tall. Probably about six inches. They're normally supposed to be like three to four, but mm -hmm. I think that one might be six. All right, guys, and last but not least, over at Hot Topic, we got this one here. Ooh, we got this one here. This is the Laying Down Deadpool. Now, I own the normal version of this, but I don't have the Diamond Collection one, so it was cool to get this one um, because I did not have it, and it was a great find, I would say. This is one that they actually re-released. It had come out probably, I would say, last year, I think, but it was a pretty good pickup. I mean, yeah, you were definitely hinting at it that you know, wanted well. it, but it is cute, though. I like it. I like, I like it. And it's another diamond one as well. Yes. So it's cool. The glitter ones are nice. It's just hard sometimes when you take them out of the box. They do kind of come off oh, a little bit. They? But it's not too bad. They are getting pretty good at keeping it on there. I remember the first couple, like the Mickey Mouse was kind of eh. But then after a little while, they got better and better at it. But yes, I'd say this is a later one and it does stick pretty great. No, I keep them in the box anyway, so it's not that bad. But still, if you want to take them out and display right. them, it would kind of suck if you got it on your hands. All right, guys. So next up, we went over to the mall and we actually got two of them while we were there. One of them you wanted yes. and then the other one I wanted. So this was cool. I mean, I, I kind of hinted at it yeah, again. For sure. It was one of those ones. I mean, I probably shouldn't have hinted because I wonder what you would have picked up if I, I didn't no hint idea. at anything. Like if I was just like, here, just go for it. I probably just would have got one you already had. Probably. <laughs> but anyways, guys, so let's show off the one that you wanted first. Maybe you can talk about this one a little bit more. I think I do own Phil. What I like about this one though is he's got his Philosophies book. Oh, um, I thought that was really? kind of cool. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, it's a little detail they added to it. I think this one was only, yeah, only $8.99. They're normally $15 at EB Games. They did bump up the price randomly one week. I forget when it was, but it was a while back. But they used to be $10, and now it's funny. They used to be $10, then they bumped them up to $15, and now the ones that are on sale, instead of going to like $5, they put them at $10. 
Oh. So it's kind of like they're just normal price now. Right. It's kind of weird. But they do this thing now, if you guys don't know, if you guys go to EB Games, um, every 10 figures, if you're part of the Funko program, you get the 10th one free. So it's actually pretty cool. Um, so you are saving like $15 every once in a while. But I say this is a pretty cool pop. I do own the Gloria Chase one from this, where she's got her leopard print uh, dress instead Ooh. of the normal one. That one's pretty cool. And then I think I used to have the Cam and Mitch 2-pack. I know they had one a little while back. I don't know if I still have it, but this whole set is pretty nice. Yeah, I've been binging Modern Family like during quarantine and stuff. Have you? So I was like, and it's like my first time watching it. Really? Yeah, like hmm. I know it's an old show, right? How many seasons are there? Like eight or nine? Nine, I think. Hmm. And I've been binging it, never watched it before, and I'm obsessed with him. Like he makes the show. It's a, he's a pretty good character. Yeah, like so I was like, this one, yes. But I've noticed they should make the kids for this because they haven't made yeah, they Manny. Don't? No, they haven't made Luke. I can't oh. think of any other names at the moment. Haley. Really? Uh, Alex. Alex. I was close. I would have got it. But anyways, they should make those guys. I would love to see a wave two. And then guys, next up, I got this one. And this is one that I needed for my icon set. I've been trying to get every single icon pop. And this is one of the ones that I needed. This is Edgar Allan Poe with a skull in his hands. And I thought this one was pretty cool. Um, I know, I'm pretty sure we did a little bit of Edgar Allan Poe in drama. Yes. I think we would have. Yeah, we did. We um, did. So that's pretty cool. If you guys don't know, we're in the same drama class. Um, so that was fun. But anyways, um, this one right here is pretty neat. They've made a couple different versions of it. I have him, aha, here it is actually right here. I've got him with a raven on his arm, because that's to go with one of the raven oh. nevermore. I don't know what it is. It, they're similar, but they're different. So it, I know, it, I want to get the whole set. So this one's 22 and this one's 21. So I needed to get both to complete it. And you guys can see here, they are very similar. This one's a Books A Million exclusive. And then this one here is just the normal common one. They're pretty much the exact same box, but you guys can see that there is the skull um, kind of popping out on the one side as well. If you look here, um, you can see he's holding the raven and then one side he's got the skull. But the one that we got today was the skull one. And I say it was a pretty good pickup because I did not own it. I like this one better. Do you? Yeah. I think the skull's nicer. The raven kind of blends in a yeah, little bit. Yeah, I was just going to say, it doesn't look like, he looks no. like he's just standing And I don't think they even painted on it at all. If I were to look at it, it looks kind of like, yeah, it's just a black bird on yeah. the arm. Um, yeah, overall, both of these are pretty cool pops. Now I need to get the one where he's holding the book, and then I've got all of them. Small differences, but they're all different numbers. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this is pretty much the best we could get in terms of kind of like dis displaying these things for you guys. We have an odd number of figures, and these two are sideways. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. But before we go, if you guys want to see Libby on again... Let's even get mm, 2,000 2, likes. Let's do 2,000 likes. If we can get 2,000 likes on this video, she'll come on again. We'll do another pop hunt or some game or something like that. And I think it'll be really fun. Um, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. And this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. If you're new around here, you should subscribe to keep up to date with the channel. I do upload every day after all. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you. And you can always like the video if, you know, well, liked the video. And if a video every day isn't enough for you, you can always check me out on many other platforms. I do post pretty much every day over there as well. Oh, and I also wanted to mention that due to popular demand, we now have Top Pops merch. Yeah, I know, I know. You're welcome. We have a bunch of different designs, and the shirts come in 16 different colors. That's right, 16 different colors. So there's literally a color for everyone. There's also phone cases, sweaters, and since so many of you asked, yes, we finally have wall clocks. I'll have it all linked in the description down below for you guys to check out. Anyways, that's going to do it for today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.